does have good map awareness. Um, so we, we just got to make sure, or they got to make sure that they have vision on him at all times and communicate properly if Frost wants to come out with the win here. Um, but it'd be interesting to see how Obsidian plays this game. They are the least experienced team in this matchup. All right, we got our first ban out finally, guys. Thank you for waking up and getting this uh, going underway. We got Akshan coming out on the Insidian side. Uh, not sure if any of the Frost players play that. It might just be a certain pick they don't want being played in the mid lane. Waiting on Frost and their first ban here. Any stinky picks you want to see, Panda? Twitch coming out, Alawi coming right back um, after that. No, I mean, I, I'm assuming they're going to ban the Jax, which is one of Nilheimer's strongest. When I remember when they first faced off, um, that was the stronger champion for him. Um, I would I would expect to see either a Kai'Sa or maybe a Zaya, or if they allow him to play the Jinxie Winxie uh, for, for JC. Um, I, I, from what I've been seeing, there is a Jax ban right there. Um... I wonder if they're going to try and do something cheeky and play some Yasuo in the bot lane uh, for Epic Monkey. Um, I know he's been practicing a lot, and I don't know how many standard ADCs he has in his champ pool. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wonder if we're going to see, like, uh, anything broken at the moment, like a Briar or an Orianna or anything like uh, that's a lane bully. We, we, might, we might be seeing a pick, uh, the Orianna pick on Keck. He's been practicing it. You might even see a crazy sign. Ooh, there's the band. Man. Oh, there it is. Speak there of the devil. Is. Yeah, I just played against that today, and it was not fun. Uh, the cooldowns are ridiculous, and just pushing the wave before you even get a chance to think about what you're doing. Got a rel first pick for Asidian. Looking to do some hard lockdown CC on that bot lane. Don't blame him, especially against a Kaisa style. I wouldn't doubt that Frost picks Kaisa first right here. Got the Very Yumi smart. pick. They're not gonna pick you. Are they they're locking that lock in, in or are they trolling us? Let's see. They're they're trolling. They're not gonna lock in. Nautilus, yeah, I Nautilus. like that way better than the um, Yumi into a rel. <laughs> we might even see we might even see a uh, a Gnosis support as well uh, coming in here. So uh, I'm not sure. Oh, they already locked it in. Just kidding. I haven't seen Jared play Aphelios, but he has been playing it. So when you started working a bunch, he started playing it. Uh, and, and there goes the guy. So they're just messing with us yeah. today, man. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's a smarter pick right there because Kaisa has that E available to escape. Um, right. But but the, that Ash, I haven't seen Epic Monkey play Ash. That really Ash, for Ash. sure. Um, yeah, they're just looking to lock down JC and make sure he isn't, isn't able to get out of these fights. Good thing Nautilus so is, is great at engaging and disengaging and keeping people off of Kaisa though. So as well. this is interesting. Keck did decide to go with the Galio. Um, he plays a lot of engaged champions. Uh, he likes to support his team to not be the star of the team. Um, so so we got to look out for him. He's always looking to roam, right? So we can see a lot of action in this bot lane. Um, oh, the Poppy pick to counter the That's Rel a great, and the Galio dash. That great is a pick right huge there. pick. That is a thousand IQ clutch. pick. I believe that is the jungle, by the way. I believe that is Ethan playing that. I, I would believe that too. Um, Poppy is going to have to be around wherever that Galio is at for that to even make a difference, though. Um, it's like with Sidian just looking to wombo combo and get their free win. A Malphite you know, ban coming from Frost. That's a great ban as well. You know, me uh, me and Relix, or Relix and I, we, we and Gunny played against a Poppy uh jungle a diamond poppy jungle about 35 40 minutes ago and i was playing around in the jungle so it's possible to win because we ended up coming out on top it's just you got to be able to wait for that poppy's e to go down or Dude, poppy mean, will surprise you you'll just be sitting somewhere will. you get caught into a wall get queued get art and you're dead and it's like that little yordle just one shot me in two seconds with all tank yeah. items <laughs> yeah. garen van coming out from the city and let's see what frost bands over here Nocturne. Nocturne. JC said, I don't want to be blind and I don't want to get chased. <laughs> All right. He said, ban that. The Urgot ban as well. So they are banning out, like I said, like I predicted, they are banning out Spooky's top lane. Um, so 
at this point, I'm assuming he's probably not going to be on very many comfort picks. Um, but let's just hope or he, he's got to hope that his mechanics uh, takes a wheel and he can dominate that top line or at least keep it even. Yeah, I see where Frost is going here, but I don't see a clear way to round out the Obsidian uh, team comp. They're going to need a lot am, more damage than a Rel, Ash, they, and Galio. I, could I was see... just going to say, there is a damage difference here. Uh, if they don't pick up any more damage people on the team, it, it, it could be looking pretty ugly. Especially now that they have a Cassiopeia that's going to be... That's huge for, for Frost here. They have a late game kind of... Yep. I mean, Kaisa is a late game champion, but Cass is just going to sit there and farm while Galio roams and does everything else in the side lanes. Oh. Camille is good there too. Uh, good for making quick picks and kind of staying yes. away from getting ganked. But I don't see how that's going to make up for well, the damage Cam here. Cam Camille is huge because if she can get her R on whoever is carrying on the other team, Galio can press R at the same time because they can't get out of that circle right. uh, by the time Galio R comes in. Um, that is a huge wombo combo. The Renata Rel so this Jungle. Gonna, this is gonna be a Rel Jungle. Rel Jungle. Wow. I I don't think I've I've, I've seen, seen it a couple play. times. It does work out against the mobile champions. It's not great against tanky champions. Uh, it's not gonna do well against a Poppy. It's not gonna be able to catch the to, Nar. You just need to ensure that you're you're um have enough damage around you if you're gonna play it. It's huge for team fights. It's huge for engage and getting those picks on the side lanes. Um, you just got to make sure you have enough DPS with it. Um, and I'm not sure they have that. You know, Camille's going to be solo on her own for the most part. Right, so, right. I've also, I've also never seen Sanchez uh, play it, or sorry, San Batman play it uh, in the jungle. So this will be interesting. This will be new for me. All right, that was our draft, guys. Uh, after seeing the drafts, what do we think is going to go on? Who do we have here? We got Vice versus Frost. We got... Kaisa versus the Ash, Rel versus Poppy. Um, my my money's on Frost with this this draft, man. With the Cassiopeia, the Nar. Um, I mean, Rel's gonna have to create a lot of pressure yeah. to even get anything going on here. Yeah, my, so yeah, my pick, I believe, Frost is gonna come on top uh, on top this first game. Just uh, I think it'll be a draft diff. Um, that's smart playing that Narby, and we'll get away before that Camille can engage on you and just play that range matchup there. Um, and if you hug the wall going into a Camille, you could throw her into it before she comes at you. So I, I think that's huge. Um, they got the Poppy with the counter for the dashes. Uh, that's for Galio. That's actually, they have three dashes on their team. So that's going to be huge coming up in team fights. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of work coming in for us with these team fights, man. There's going to be a lot of shout casting. I have my monster ready to go to keep my energy going up and <laughs> keep JC my throat from drying to, up as well. JC wanted me to remind you to don't forget to click in game scene. So we got about two minutes and 30 seconds here before we can get in. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on me for a little bit here. Uh, keep throwing me some tips though, JC. I appreciate that because it is hard to kind of keep track of everything going on. Yeah, let's fucking go, E girl. I feel the same way. See if I can find an actual hype song in here. Uh, got a bunch of non copyright music here that I've never heard before, so let's see if I see anybody in here that I recognize. <laughs> uh, Panda, how's your day going, dude? What'd you do today? I worked. <laughs> you worked? Same, dude. Isn't it cool being old and being adults? <laughs> I uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's it, it's definitely so much fun. I've so been up since four a.m. and I drove all the way up until like three p.m. Oh, sorry, you're a truck driver. Uh, kind of. I don't know. I'm not. I I don't drive the big trucks. I'm not gonna call myself a truck driver because I'm the truck driver you're community will come after me. Uh, I'm what's known as a puddle jumper. I drive the smaller trucks. You can jump in my puddle. It's fine. <laughs> I hear that a lot, man. Thank you. Uh, all right. Go Obsidian, go Frost. Relics is just like you to just pick both sides. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, we have one minute left before the game starts. This is going to be 
a very interesting game. I'm excited to see how this matchup plays out. I think so too, Troy. I think it definitely will be a lot closer. I'm going to run down and get water before it starts. Yes, sir. I got a weird feeling that uh, the Frost side is going to do a weird engage here. Uh, a weird uh, invade. Probably see if the Poppy can catch the Ash or Renata on the side. See if they can get a free easy kill. Dude, uh, Relics, I'm ready for some Kaisa gaming. I missed it yesterday. I'm pretty excited for that today. <clears throat> I'm just going to double check one more time, guys. Is everything going good? Everything sound good? Anything wrong with the stream at all that I need to fix? Uh, we're about to be in game. I have all the hotkeys for that. Waiting for the load in time here. Uh, so got a couple minutes, I think. Nope, we are good. Switching we are loaded in. Now. It is time. I am back. I was uh, just. Uh... Uh, I, I'm excited to see what they're going to do here. They do have the Nautilus grip. Uh, I would expect a little cheeky invade here. Um, no, they're going to spread out. They're going to five point it. Looks like they're going to do a late invade from this bot side. Um, that's not working either. I gotta window this. They are... Go ahead and keep they casting. Bringing... In. I'm sorry, I'm just doing. Uh, they are bringing lace. noodle hammer down. Hmm. Do we have an invade going on here? What am I missing? No, uh, not yet. Right now they're in this bottom, next to the Krugs bush. Um, let's see if they do a late invade. I, I think they're cheeky enough to do it. It looks like Noodle Hammer is heading back to his top lane. I think they're expecting Nautilus to kind of go around and they're going to catch him in a five sack. Um, but it looks like it was successfully defended, even though they didn't attempt it. Let's see here. Wow. They are going to play Noodle Hammer strong side. So are they going to try and get the gold and, and the assist on their uh, best champion? How do you zoom out on this? Uh, control shift C and then uh, time controls R. It's control shift Z. There we go. Get the scoreboard up here. All right, guys, we are in game. Uh, looks oh, like bot lane's already tussling for, back here. They are looking for a level two gank here. The question is, can they get it off or at least get some sun? Rel is level two going in. Nautilus Rel getting hooked on the wall, trying oh, to get out of there. The Flashes he out. Does get out. He does get out. Exhaust down as well. He missed that kill. If he hit that Q, they successfully secured that kill. I definitely see Rel pathing down here to try and get another uh, gank down on there. Poppy is on her blue buff now. I would like to see uh, Nar play a little bit more aggressive, especially since he's got that range matchup early. Um, he's not really punishing this Noodle Hammer. He's actually taking a lot of mini aggro for no reason because he's only getting one on O in there. Yeah, Nar's a weird one. Uh, it's kind of like you got to be back and forth the whole game, juggling that uh, that, that yeah, the rage bar, the rage yeah. bar, yeah, going on to that. I can see an engage coming here. He's go he's level two. Oh, both bone platings are popped. Let's see if we can go back down in this bot lane there. Yeah, I'm gonna go back down here to the bot. Nar did jump back in at the last second. We got a gank happening down here in the bot lane. Poppy going in. Nautilus hooking. 
Pop you with a flash E on the wall. First blood oh, to Nautilus, Nautilus, though. Yeah. <laughs> Fos with the great gank uh, returning down to that bot lane. You did know that there was some pressure down there, and that Ash is playing pretty far up after the gank. Uh, Nard also did go in before oh, that gank like and took a lot of damage. Top. This Rel might be going in for a dive top. Let's hope. She's got flash available. It's de definitely doable. She is holding back a little bit here. They need to get in there now. Nice. He waited for it. She flashed in. And looks like it's going to be an even trade here. Uh, not sure why Camille stayed for that, but they got the kill. Good job on Rel with that gank. Poppy back in the mid lane. Cass getting some free hits on this. This looks pretty easy. No flash coming back to get that Galio kill, though. You do have Renata with the hover, though. That is great map awareness and knowing where they're going to be going next. Um, right now, it, it's looking favorable for this Frost team. Um, the gold lead is slightly climbing up. I mean, Rel with that gank top lane definitely kept that pretty even. Uh, unfortunately, Camille did die at the end, but uh, both teams here are looking to scrap. They're not going to farm for 40 minutes. So our, uh, our boy Troy says he thinks Obsidian has a better team fight. However, Frost scales much better. That is true. It is a scaling comp. Um, however, I'm not sure how comfortable a lot of these guys are on their picks. I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen much of a real jungle. Um, and I haven't seen uh, Epic play much of Ash, so I think it's going to come down to who's on their more comfortable champions. Fireball is a menace when it comes to grips, so we need to watch out for those engages and those picks early to get that Kaisa snowballed. Uh, Camille doing some pressuring again in the top lane here. Uh, we're fighting all over, Look, guys. Everywhere is this looking rage to bar is stacking up. She just that Nar hit six. This Rage Bar stacking up. Spooky is known to play aggressive. That is very interesting that they did not. Well, actually, that rogue probably died. I, I think, think I think Camille more. called that off. That was smart. Uh, you don't want to yeah. fight a, a almost yeah a level six Nar here Definitely with a full Rage Blade. This Poppy is looking for another engage in this bot lane. This Poppy is just roaming, trying to funnel gold into this Kaisa. We just need to make sure. Oh, he misses the grip. Oh no, Fireball is missing that wall there. Even if he hit the wall, that might have been beneficial because he could have still rooted them. Yeah, I think he was trying them. to either hit them or the wall at the same time. Trying to get one or the other. Uh, Galio backing in the mid lane. Cassiopeia is losing in farm after that gank. Uh, kind of hard to push with the Galio auto Q though. Got Jared and the Kaisa up 20 gold after that first blood on the bot lane as well. Uh, minions, yes sir. Camille doesn't give respect to that NAR, man. Yep. That is they're a free dragon as well. Drag. They have prowls, so they're just going to benefit on it. You know, the, one of the main win conditions is Dragon Soul. You get Dragon Soul, you are going to be pretty much unstoppable for the most part. Um, one thing that I have noticed um, while watching Obsidian through the past couple of weeks is there's not that much focus on rotating to these objectives. Um, the only one that I will see rotate a lot of the time will be Keck. Uh, he is very observant um, when it comes to rotations. So I think once he hits that six, which he has, uh, we could start seeing a little bit more action in different lanes on these side lanes. Right. Uh, I mean, top lane just dueling it out like top wow. laner should. Uh, yeah, I don't think Cassiop is going to even try to bother with the Galio after he hits six. Oh, we're going for the all-engage with the Camille. He is going to get this first kill. That is huge by Noodle Hammer. Wow. I did not think Camille was going to one-shot that Nar like that. That is crazy, but uh, well, Nar didn't I really mean, have any uh, defensive yeah. items right there. I, I understand that part. Yeah. Uh, once he not hits even so much defensive, but he, he also didn't back to spend his gold yet. So Camille came in with the added advantage. She knew, knew that matchup, and she said, let's go. Great job by the Camille right there. Beautiful, uh, yeah. Poppy top, Rel bot. Let's see what happens. Who gets that first gank off? Uh, Ash hitting six here. Might see an Ash arrow come out for one of these ganks. Where do we think the win con's at here, Panda? We think it's top, mid, or bot for the Obsidian team here. For the Obsidian team, uh, I think the win con needs to be Ash. Like Troy said earlier, he does have a front line, so if they can play around that, get Ash strong enough, he can start picking them apart. 
Uh, they should win these team fights early uh, for Obsidian. Um, but if they allow this Kaisa to scale, this this Cassiopeia to scale, Gink coming in here then... mid, uh, Galio getting pushed out back from the Poppy. Poppy is not six yet. Will not be able to stop that ulti going out there. Great escape there from Keck. Uh, sorry, we'll, uh, go on about the Ash again. You said that the front line is yeah. No, so yeah, so he's got the front line for it. Uh, oh, how did that miss? That was a nice attempt by Fireball there to get the hook in. Um, well, I was saying that they scale harder with Cassiopeia and Kaisa on the Frost team. So if they can't get this Ash in motion, and these guys continue to scale um, just by being ahead in farm overall, um, it, it could look pretty grim for Obsidian here. True. That's very true. Yeah, they're, uh, they're kind of wombo combo or, or lose on this team comp they have here. Uh, we do have a little bit of leeway going to Frost right now uh, just by 100 gold. Uh, and the dragon this, here so so one mistake i'm constantly seeing is spooky is is just hard engaging playing really aggressive and and he's died twice now so he needs to maybe slow it down get some more farm to catch up um i know he's got some wardage but if that if that rail decides to go behind through his tri bush he is screwed very true very true uh i don't think he knew that the rail was there on the he, oh, does I, have a he did have a ward right there it. yeah just trying to figure out what poppy's next move is here um really helping the cassiopeia farm trying to stop that galio from shoving and then just taking you off into a different lane Uh, we might see a lot of aggression coming out of the bot lane too with fireball hitting six with ignite and flash up uh we got flash ghosts and all sums in the bot lane on the other side as well but we'll see if they can get that renata r and uh savior ability off before it gets blown up by jc they're gonna look for a pick here on uh on the little, i don't know how to say that i like this play here uh this yeah, stud. both sides are going. Cass is not definitely the, dead. We've got TP coming out as well. The end of it. We have Ash actually getting a lot of DPS out right now. Kaisa needs Kaisa with a kill. There we go. Jared turned that around the last second. Great Jared job there. They around. they held it's out hard that hard. burst for that ability, man. And that was a great job by them waiting out for the Renata now, damage. With this Rift Herald, they do secure the gold lead here. Um, and there's... Oh... So we did get a uh, uh, TP mid lane from Spooky after Cassie to get blown up. Uh, Riffail got a couple of plates off, but not too much out of the Obsidian side. This bot lane on Frost side is going to completely snowball if they don't put an end to it. If they don't five man and just get them out of this lane, because yes, I mean I almost agree. 100 farm and a full static and 92. I mean. It's, it, Jared's you know, about to just it, snowball completely. It's, it's interesting to see how this is going to go. This Camille continues to get stronger. Um, she might be the backline uh, prior person. If she can backline get an R on Jared or on JC and Galio can ult him, that takes care of half their damage, especially if they're clumped um, with Cassiopeia. So that's something we got to look for because if she's able to one-shot him, that's going to be a game changer. That's a good point. He can't R out of that uh, or Camille oh. ulti. Nope, and by the time Galio gets in, he'll be able to knock him up and taunt him, and that is a secured for sure kill. But with an, a big, beefy Nautilus right there, man, nothing's going to go through that guy before you kill him. True, true. Now, the one thing I am not sure about is if Poppy's W can counteract the falling of Galio. Uh, maybe Troy, you wouldn't know that. He's very knowledgeable about the game called League of Legends, made by Riot. Uh... I don't know if the W can, but I do know the R can stop the charge uh, before he goes up in the air. Uh, it did stop the yeah. E when he went in. Yeah, I think he is unstoppable. Oh my god, unstoppable, like Relix is saying. This Poppy is going to come to try and save him. Oh, they're getting pinched on from all angles. The W goes up to stop the rel. Kaisa gets out with the R. There's Camille there to stop it. Like I said, if she just fo it's a wombo combo. Dude, Obsidian Noodle Hammer with, with the Camille is coming in out of nowhere with a complete carry on this Obsidian side. I mean, you have almost 50% KP on this team here. Uh, and you were you you called it, dude. 
the Camille came in on the backside, locked down Jared. I mean, he oh, he didn't even have to lock down Jared. He locked down the Poppy and then one shot JC with uh, I mean two three hundred damage off the Q. Yeah, uh, that's exactly. With his R, but that that Camille TP in just kind of secured it for him. Exactly what I'm sitting to do there. I mean, any longer in this bot lane would have just completely went, took away the game and not left you with any chances to get back in it. Let's so great timing by them. They didn't let nice them uh, trade here with Noodle Hammer. get off too Noodle far. Noodle Hammer might be able to. No, nah, he's going to opt for his gold here. Very smart. He does that back up with the Poppy. Poppy's not too far away. So... Obsidian is doing a great job of knowing where their strength is right now, being able to 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 see that they're going to win these early team fights and they need to end this before scaling happens. Um, so they are doing a great job of that right now. Let's just see if we can get Frost to slow it down. This is one thing that Frost struggled with yesterday in the match against Freya. They they were just constantly going in fast fast mode. And then once Freya just got out of control, they could not slow the tempo down to scale and possibly get into the game. Um, we, we should hope that they learn from their lesson uh, with their coach Steve uh, breaking down the games. Dude, we, we got a lot of people hype in the chat right now. We got uh, Obsidian's own coach, Newport100, saying, let's go Obsidian, let's effing go. I mean, he was hyped for that bot lane play down there. Um, Troy still going in with his thoughts on there. I do like what they're talking about with the Poppy as well. Sorry, I was trying to just acknowledge that part over there. Um, again, with the chat, who do you guys think is going to win? We got Frost or Obsidian going down in there. With, we're halfway through the game, 15 minutes in. It's pretty much even. Uh, I you mean, know, Obsidian is up by 1,000, and they do have their ults back up. We could see another huge team fight before the 20-minute mark. Yeah, and like I was saying, Troy just said, "Hey, Frost in the comms, and he said, let's slow it down. Let's not force things. Let's 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 scale harder." Now, I don't know if they know their matchup does that, you know, to this extent, unless they're listening to us give advice right now. You know, who knows? Uh, but but that is something they need to do because once this Cassiope just continues to press that E, um, she's gonna be a danger if they can protect her. Very true. They they did. They know that they have a lot of siege. They have a lot of dive potential. Uh, looks like I said, oh, here we got a fight breaking out here over the Shelly. We got a nice ult from the Poppy. Galio coming in. They're just CC lost. There's too much time. to deal with here There's on the Subsidian side, man. They already got oh, they rid of one player. Spooky, Spooky almost is, has his ulti. Spooky is his ult. Cassio could carry this if he gets a W back up. Cassio, oh, we got some tauntage coming in. It looks like they're going to secure the kill on Spooky again. Uh, we have Kais in the bot lane getting free tower, potentially. This poor Cassio. Oh, the flash out. out. Oh, my God. He does get the flash out. That is huge. Save some gold. Um, they're now at a 3K What an escape deficit. by Cassiopeia there. That oh, is some before... tanky boys, Panda. How do you deal it's... with that, man? I mean, Poppy got rid of the uh, the, the Galio on that part. No, I'm it... sorry, the Camille. And you cut came right back. That, the way to deal with that is you can't clump, right? If you true. have Gnar, you, That's very true. Be, you should be in range distance. You have the Nautilus there. <laughs> Let him take the aggro. You need to be able to, once they do their engage, pop their spells back out before you get taunted and start spreading them apart and picking them apart with your 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 damage champions you one thing that they didn't have there was kaisa which he could have actually possibly cleaned up there um it would have been very hard for him he definitely would have had to use all of his abilities there i he, mean uh he, he for sure have for sure would have but he did opt for the static shiv to get some wave clear going because he knows right. that they're going to be not diving them he wants to get that wave thinned out that way they can yeah. play around these towers and potentially get some picks on on greedy dives also, oh, okay, uh, Fireball going in on this Dragon, on Noodle Hammer, the main carrier of the Obsidian team. Rel is going to try and get in the backside as well, try and make something happen. There's a TP coming in behind him. Spooky just TPs into four of them. I think that was a lack of communication. And they, Definitely some communication the is going on here. Jungle. On both sides here. Uh, yeah, Rel went in to, to use their ulti That's last fight there. Um, He's this, on the board. It's a jump fight to fight here. No cooldowns, nothing to really gain. Except this dragon. They need to keep an eye on JC's placement here with Noodle Hammer coming in. Trying to pinch him. Because Noodle Hammer is tanky. He is up on levels on them. 
That's definitely going to be the main kill oh. here. They got him out of there. Ash Arrow on Jared. Poppy in the middle of the team. JC on the backside is ready to go if he can get again. some damage on. Camille is back in the fight already. Cassiopeia is going to go down right here. Poppy is about to go down as well. Fireball left in the backside. JC fighting for his life. Cannot make it out of there. Just too much that CC. Too many fight. people to deal with. Too much of a gold lead just happened within the this last is... three minutes. I mean, I was just talking about this at the 15 minute mark. What is going to happen? And we could see a team fight, and all of a sudden, Obsidian comes out with the game. Yeah. This is crazy. Obsidian is playing exceptionally well, rotating, staying grouped together, not splitting up, unless it's Noodle Hamel going in for the back line. They're just following up on all these while. while... Or Frost is just kind of scattering. Yeah. Noodle Hammer doing his best Michael Myers impression where he just gets. You, you look away and then you look back and he's right there behind you. Like, <laughs> just came right back in. And Re Relix, is, Relix is right that, you know, their late game is. There's still a scaling possibility. The longer this game goes, if they can catch up on some gold and stop fighting, stop giving up free kills, they are able to turn. Cass and Kaiser out. are going to need at least four to five items to even deal with half of this Obsidian team. Uh, Nard's going to have to probably shift into a so, full tank as well. If you look at the gold distribution, though, most of that is on Noodle Hammer. If Poppy can effectively get that ult on Noodle Hammer again, and they can fight as a true fight as a five v four, there's potential to win these team fights. True. Um, Galio is be a beefcake. We just gotta they gotta be able to keep Galio off of their back line. Um, and, I, and I think you know they know that it's just those spell shields are so difficult. <laughs> Food Sam's here, the fifth one this week, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Troy's right. Uh, Frost not having any cleanse is also, he said, awkward. But cleanse is a <laughs> huge part to, to keep them alive. They should probably keep that on them. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I agree with that. It's just with cleanse, man, it's going to do like one ability out of the 10 you have to dodge on against the team. He just knocked him into him. He might get it. Poppy might get a shut. No, he did not. He did not get tower aggro on him. But they might get a pick here. No noodle hammer. Oh. That is a huge shutdown. Poppy got it. Great job. That might be beneficial. Poppy does do percent life. If he can get beefy enough to be that front line and damage dealer, um, that could help. Um, I would have liked to see it on JC, though, for sure. <laughs> I don't think Foe was intentionally trying to kill Nar on that, uh, that play right there, but it was unfortunate. But at least he got the shutdown. Yeah. Uh, again, on the cleanse part, though, uh, it is a great pickup, but don't forget that, I mean, Kaisa and, and Nautilus were just completely dominating the bot lane until the five-man Wombo came in with the exhaust, uh, but it, it, it doesn't do much for you in the end game. that is true, especially when you're fighting five people that just are going to either slow you or be tanky and have to take a thousand, two thousand damage, even die. Reading chat here. We got a lot of banter going on. I love it, guys. Keep it going. Uh, it looks like both teams are resetting. They're trying to slow things down. Frost needs to get another 100 CS on them before they can even think about 5v5ing this. But they're going to look for another pick here. Keck does look free. I mean, he's caught up here within four people. There's no way they don't get this kill, right? Ash is on the backside looking for an air opportunity. Oh, they were able to disrupt the Keck. Oh, they do get a shut. Kaisa gets the shutdown. That is a lot of gold. Oh, Cass man, caught slipping here with her pants down. Camille getting a free kill on that one. Looks like Cass Super is going to TP on this Baron. Uh, I don't like this call they from Frost, but it looks in. like they're no, getting a they're little bit. They're trapped right now. The only thing that's a good thing is Noodle Hammer does not have ulti. So they might be able to get a pick here. JC is starting to pop off. He just needs to get out get out of there he's getting touched by the rail ash is doing great spacing right now i'm pretty Kill sure goes. kaisa did more damage with the renata r than their whole team did this whole time uh ash is picking up everything untouched completely shredding this poppy triple kill by and ash. nar that is gonna be a dangerous or a, a horrible mistake right there i i i don't mind the desperation plays but you got to be ready for the desperation consequences that come with that. Uh, fortunately, it does go bad. Uh, Obsidian yeah. is... They're not scared of anything or anybody right now. They're going to take whatever fight you give them. They're just too tanky JC... and they have way too much control over this game for you to so be doing stuff like that. So let's see how this turns out. JC did go back, got his Mythic. He had a good shutdown amount... Or he had a good amount of gold from that shutdown. 
Um, I think what they should have done is after they got that pick and, and they knew they were going to be potentially fighting a 4v4 with a better team comp, um, they should have backed, opted, buy gold, push it out, and slow the game down. I mean, um, just, I just backtracking to what you said about 10 minutes ago, they can't clump up. And as soon as they clumped up, the Renard R, R came through, yep. and that changed the whole the, fight right there. As soon as uh, the R came through, JC was pushing his Q and just hit the whole team, unfortunately. Where do we go from here, Panda? What do we do? How do we get back for Misery Frost? Like I've been saying, they need to just slow it down. Stop taking team fights. Um, <laughs> it's right now they're getting pitched on again. <laughs> it's nonstop fighting. It looks like a true gold game, to be honest with you. Um, true. There is a lot of aggression, but but it's it's warranted for the Obsidian side. They know they can win these team fights. Ash is just poking Spooky down with the oh he's got the Ash arrow. There's an uh, R from Noodle Hammer. JC is poking, but his front line is slowly getting down. I mean, Coach Newport is creaming in his pants right now. Uh, it's a complete slaughter on the Big Frost boots. side. It's yeah. it's the same exact engage They're that they were down. doing They're the last four times. I mean, right now. Ash is a very underrated AD carry. Was, uh, has, has been for a long play. time, especially with the Triforce and the Kraken, uh, with they might even the Cleaver build here. Dude. I wouldn't doubt if they ended. Uh, if I was the Frost team, I'd just want to go back to the drawing board and get out of this draft as well. Uh, it Definitely going to be trying to figure out what went wrong in this game when they watch it back. Um, Obsidian looking to just take everything on the map here. Uh, they're probably going to try and get the Baron when it spawns again. I don't think they're going to end within this Baron rotation. No, I don't think so. Which, yeah. They, have, they do have TP up in a while. They'll probably just go back, this, split this push, and see if they get another end If they get this dragon sold to to Obsidian, it's going to be over. Four They're mountains would be it. over, yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe, just maybe, we'll get like two to three minutes of just farming out of the frost side. Uh, I do think it would be smart for them to get that done. I don't think uh, just throwing your bodies at them over and over again is going to help out this this time. Um, it might even be time to just sit in your base and only come out for Baron or Dragon. You never know when they're going to get into your red or blue sides and just be hiding in there with the Camille ready to one-shot you. Yeah. Had a whole lot going on now uh, on the Frost side. We do have two items completed by Cass. Two from the Poppy, two from the Nar. Nar finally has his uh, his three items there. Uh, Kaisa has her core as well. Ash looking like a complete monster. Almost has a fourth item uh, going out with the boots. Camille wow, and just, Nar just... It's... Camille just chunks him. I think they need to pull out right here. They get this tower back out. Just keep getting gold on their team. They get the objective gold. You know, slowly get back. Now they're down only 9k. Um, you know, there's, they need to slowly come back. Scale. Get the right get the right people fed. Um, this Ash is a problem now. Somebody needs to be able to get to that back line because this Ash is picking the front line apart. Obsidian playing this perfect. Uh, you got both sides crying for uh, attention to their side waves. Everything being pushed in. You got to pick somebody here. They sent three toppling for the Camille. Camille is out. Oh, Asher coming through. Cassiope is about to get completely dove. Oh. Castle Colt Manau, uh, Poppy all going down. Renata R going down. Ash free hitting uh, everybody. Making the Poppy look like a squishy toy. Nari all coming out. Camille getting away. What, that's a weird Camille interaction Hammer right there. Is going to give them some gold right here. JC needs to pick it up. There it is. A random misplay from that. Let's see if Frost can push his bot wave out and try to get Looks some like pressure JC's off. Looks like JC's opting for the Bork with all this tankiness in front of him. This Bork is going to be a lifesaver. It's a good pickup right if there. He can, if he can still auto. Give him a, a little bit of breathing room with the slow as well. <laughs> and GPK with the Poppy running in like an attack helicopter. An Apache helicopter coming straight from hell. Uh, 
Uh, not sure what they can do about the Ash build as well. I mean, Boric, Triforce, and Kraken, that's going to make any, even a Ramus feel a little bit less tanky. Uh, there's no way they're going to be able to build enough tankiness to stop that from cutting them down. Are they still playing? My league just ended. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, they are uh, 28 minutes in. I do have the stream up, though, if you do want to watch. I There's not too much delay on it. Yeah. Maybe like, like uh, five seconds. This might be coming to an end pretty close because it just kicked me out. Okay. Uh, now it's going in on the Galio. Galio getting a two-man stun right there. Fireball flashing out. Sure. Rel going in towards the back line. Right Poppy now. getting caught out as well. Yeah, Got a Rel. Oh, yeah. They're getting the front line picked right now. Spooky looking to see if he can get in there. It's just too far gone. Too late. Cassiope going down as well. Noodle Hammer being the sole MVP on the Obsidian side. I mean, everyone did a great job on that team, but Noodle Hammer said, this is my game. It's my time to shine. Put me on the podium. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. If I'm these guys, I'm just going for an end right now. You can fight them under the tower. You're tanky enough. You have a minion wave pushed up. But it looks like they're opting for the Baron. It's Let's at this point in my solo queue games where I say, go next, GG easy, get me out, I'm done. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> Just waiting on Obsidian to take the base here. Uh, they might be able to pull out a oh, desperation fight here with the NAR ulti going down to Camille again. Can you, Camille is just too slippery for that. Ash did get a, uh, a, a not all hook to the face, though. Poppy went in too far back. Poppy out coming down. Did send two back. Not a R. Completely destroying Jared right there. Uh, it, I, I think this is why you get kicked out of the, uh, the spectate, man. This game is over on the over. Frost side. Do get, uh, I mean, Camille lives again. What is that? Champion? Camille's the best champ in the game. Nerf that. That is insane. This man is this too far fed. too far fed. A Camille ban this next game. Uh, I th sir, they banned like five champs in Noodle Hammer, I thought. Which. What, what... <laughs> uh, Rel just going in for the last minute in your face kills for Ash. Spooky going in one more time. Um, yeah, just, it just gets a little too hard stars. when. One champ just gets a little too aggressive and then takes over for the bot lane. Unfortunately, Jared just being the one of the only lanes that was truly winning and getting the backhand on that part from Camille and the rest of the Obsidian squad. Great job by them. Let's give our round of applause for Obsidian for getting the game one in here. Uh, it is best of three, right, Panda? Yes, it is. All right. Let's see what happens here. That was a good game, man. Uh, I, th I think we all knew right from the start that it was going to be just completely and just, just a bloodshed. I mean, we could tell from the from the draft itself. Welcome, everybody, new and old. Uh, again, Obsidian took game one against Frost. Complete bloodshed from the top laner, Newell Hammer. It is a three block, according to JC. It is a scrim. Yes. I mean, and we got to remember, this is beneficial to Misery as a whole organization. These guys are going to fight it out. They're going to learn from their mistakes. They're going to continue to scream and get better. That way, when we get into leagues and we fight people from outside the organization, we'll have everything together and be a dominant force in any league that are, we put a team into. Very true. You're only as good as the best player on your team. And if you're all yep. screaming as a organization itself, it makes you all better. Uh, let's see here. MGPK with a no death cap on Nautilus is definitely the main issue. You're right, dude. Who needs a team when Nautilus is just one-shotting four people at one time?